In this video, you will learn how to import Excel files into Alteryx so that we can begin to clean, prepare, and otherwise transform the data in preparation for data analysis. In video three, I said that everything that we want to execute in Alteryx requires us to do three steps. First, we must select the tool. Second, we must configure the tool. And finally, we must run the task. Let's go ahead and import our Excel file into Alteryx. To do so, you can either go from the Favorites menu or, as I will do, click on the In Out to reveal the In Out menu. From this menu, select the Input Data tool and drag it onto your canvas. The right arrow on the tool is called an Output Anchor. Clicking on it can give you a preview of the step, or if you have run another step or are configuring another tool, you can click on this output anchor from the previous step to see what the data looked like before the next step is run. Now that we have selected our tool and placed it onto our canvas, the next step that we need to do is we need to configure our tool. In this case, we need to tell Alteryx where to find the file that we would like to import. To do so, come over to your configuration window and you will click on the down arrow to reveal that menu. From there, you will select files, and then you could either drag and drop the file if you already have it available, or you can select file to reveal the typical browse menu. Go ahead and click on your file, and then click on open. From here, we now start to remember what this Excel file looked like. It had four tabs to it showing the inflows and outflows for the two levels of data that this Excel spreadsheet has. We need to find the state level data. And particularly, we're going to find the state outflow set. To get here, we're going to go ahead and click on the drop down menu to select the state outflow sheet by clicking on it and then clicking on OK. Now that we have done so, we start to see a preview of the data in the configuration window. However, the data has not been brought into Alteryx because we haven't executed the task. To execute the task, go ahead and hit the Run button. Our data now will come into Alteryx. We see this data in the results field. In addition, we can notice a few things about our data, which we discussed in the second video with respect to how the data set was originally formatted for Excel, yet that doesn't necessarily translate well when you bring a data set into Alteryx. Only the first row is written as a header row, which means that only one of our columns has retained a name from the Excel spreadsheet, and that is the Hawaii outflow or the first column. The other columns have placement values, an F2, an F3, and F4. Those are not, they could be used as header rows, but if you have multiple data sets with the same row name, it's going to start to get a little bit confusing. So we'll need to change that to specific header rows to tell us what's contained or what data is contained within each column. In addition, any fields that were merged, so some of those cells that had merged across multiple columns or multiple rows, are only going to get unmerged once they're brought into Alteryx. This means that the data is all going to be reported in the first column or the first row where it was first seen. The remaining rows that were part of the merge are going to be left blank. And in this case, it's called null because it's, a pl it's trying to show you that there's blank or missing information here. Finally, if we scroll to the bottom, we will see that our notes still came in through the file. And again, as we talked about in the second video, we're going to need these to clean these out of our data set before we can go ahead and do some proper analysis.